Blessed the name of Jesus. words to our God. Let him know what he means to you. Thank him for all he's done for you.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord and lift yourself up. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Tell somebody to say, he let me live. If you can't tell, I'm really excited, but I'm extremely sleepy. I'm sorry, I have not had any sleep all day. I'm excited because the vision has now come out of my head and it has made reality. Tell somebody to say, we're standing in the middle of an answer prayer. Tell somebody else say we're standing in the middle of an answered prayer. Hallelujah. The song says you let me live. Hallelujah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sing my part. I'm trying to make sure I don't do nothing until it's time for me to do what I'm supposed to do. How about that? Hallelujah. Anybody just let to be in the house of the Lord one more time? Hallelujah. Now, I don't know about you, but Sunday night anointing was a little different from the Sunday morning anointing. I don't know if you, I got the Holy Ghost at a Sunday night service. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, he'll swing through if you let him. He'll touch you if you let him. Hallelujah. He'll move just for you if you let him. 
Hallelujah. Anybody, this is a thank you praise celebration. I'm trying to find somebody that God's been good to. Look at somebody say, God's been good to me all day long. Hallelujah. And I came here to give God the glory. I'm going to wait till you feel like praising the Lord. If you want to go to sleep, we can go ahead and take you home. Hallelujah. But tell somebody, say, since we're here, we might as well praise the Lord. Why don't you take a moment and tell one person beside you one thing the Lord done for you just today. Woo! Tell somebody, say, he been good to me. I don't have time to tell you my whole testimony, but he been good to me. Hallelujah. And since he let me live, I might as well give him the praise. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands, everybody.
praise. Come on. Testimony service. Come on. Has anybody here got a testimony tonight? Come on. Has God been good to anybody? Come on. God been good to anybody in the room on today? Come on. We want you to come. Hallelujah. Tell of the goodness of the Lord. How, how good he's been to you. What he's done for you. Amen. The Bible declares that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Come on. Come on. Hey. Oh. A shout of praise in the room. Come on, come on. I said, give him a shout of praise. Open up your mouth and shout glory. Hallelujah. Bless you, Jesus. Amen. I don't think our designated persons are here to testify tonight, so I'm gonna give a quick testimony. And I'm gonna get out your way. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I pastor a, a church in Perford, North Carolina, by the name of First Baptist Missionary Church. We have been asking the Lord to do some things for us. And I just want to talk about the power of praise and what praise can and what praise will do. Hallelujah. I had an elder uh, that was in the hospital in a coma. And we had been praying and believing God that the Lord would restore him. A few Sundays ago, we were in the middle of service and we began to bless God to the point where I couldn't even preach. The, all we did was prophesy, praise God. Amen. I had people in my church that don't never move. Amen. Y'all know how this can be sometimes in some Baptist churches. They'd be a little starchy. Amen. My church is on fire for the Lord, but I had some people that ain't never done nothing before in their life. And as they began to praise God, I remember the Lord spoke to me and I told them, I said, God said, if you want me to do something different, you got to do something different. And the saints began to get into the aisle and begin to dance and begin to bless the Lord. Well, later on that week, I got a call on that Thursday. Hallelujah. Amen. That my elder had woke up. Hallelujah. From out of his coma after the praise. Not only that, not only that, I got one more thing and then I'm going to get out your way because y'all didn't want to dance on that. But we had a, 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 a debt that we needed to pay. We needed to get a new roof in our church. Even before I became the pastor, they needed a roof. Amen. And the insurance company was trying to give us a hard time. They only wanted to give us about $3,000. And it was a $55,000 job, my brother, to get done. And so we had begun trying to figure out what we were going to do, how we were going to make things happen. But tell somebody after the praise. Come on, tell somebody after the praise. Hallelujah. I got a call by that Friday. Hallelujah. Amen. From my administrator. She said, Pastor, I just want to call and let you know I got some information about the roof. I said, well, what's going on? She said, well, they want, I just want to let you know that they said that the roof is going to be paid in full. Somebody ought to give God praise. I'm trying to tell you that when you praise God, praise can change your situation. I wish you high five your neighbor and say, oh, neighbor, I got a reason to give God praise. I said, look at somebody and tell them, I got a reason. Tell somebody to say we might not have the same praise. 
So we at least got one thing to praise God for. Can I give everybody to just test the floor out one good time? Everybody, everybody, let's praise them real quick. Why are we dancing just because he's been good? Just because of who he is? the sanctified. That's what the Bible, so I can go into any fellowship and be able to connect because ain't but one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I, oh, whoa. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. All right, now let me tell you this. I want to thank y'all because number one, people don't have to support. And I also understand that sometimes people come just because they want to see what's happening. Because we live in the area and we live in the day and time when people will rather promote your demise than support the actual vision. And I'm letting you know, I've been in church all my life. I've seen church done right. I've seen church done wrong. And I said no to God so many years about starting this. I'm so, I feel like I'm so behind. Uh, I got rebuked around the age of 24. And the lady told me, she said, you're out of order. And she said, Pastor. She said, there are some people that are on their way to hell because you're not in place. And I know we're getting ready to raise offering, but I'm saying all of this to say is that sometimes you cannot do what God says because of fear and because you are used to a certain gift. And that's the place where the people around you see that that's where you ought to be, if that makes sense. And so I was comfortable on the organ. And serving for so many years. And then when God said step out, I told him no along with a couple of other words. Praise the Lord. Uh, not those words, but the other ones. Amen. 
all right? But I was just that, you know, the type of person that if I was going to start this thing, I wanted to do it the right way. I'm not going to be uh, put out there on Facebook and, you know, have some kind of ordeal of uh, me taking money from the saints or taking money from you're not going to hear that from me because I'm too scared of God. I fear the Lord. You know, there are some things that I've done. I'd be like, okay, God, I'm just playing God. I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, and that's one thing that I don't want to do because um, this is, if you even know about this area around here, it's very drug infested. People sit on this step right here. And I had to, we had to stop somebody the other day, you know, from shooting up on their arm, you know, and they don't want to hear about no church being here or nothing like that. They want to get their fix and go. But I'm saying all that to say is that the first initiative that I'm trying to do from the beginning of this ministry is not to have a church service every Sunday. I want, I'm so tonight actually starts every third Sunday being the service that will take place in this building until the official launch in April. But until then, I'm trying to get a drug program started here first because I want to make sure that these people can come off the stuff that they're on. And we got to be real. We can't be so churchy. You know, ooh, come to church, doc. Come to church, doc. God going to really bless you. No, let's put these people in a program so they can get some step-by-step type process so they can really get fully delivered. Then when we come to the church service, we'll have something to really shout about. Amen. And so that's only one of the steps. You can hit me up and we can talk further if you would like to know more vision about it. But um, that's what you're sowing in tonight. All right. I'm giving $100. I am a part of the Church of God in Christ. And so y'all already know, if you're a part of the Church of God in Christ, our minimum for pastors, leaders, elders, all of that kind of stuff is $100. All right. And so uh, yeah, the ways to give are on the screen. Praise the Lord. We got screens. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Cash out goes to uh, PT Ministries. You can do it via, uh, via uh, PayPal at um, PT Ministries at tptab.org. All right. Or you can bring your offering in person because we have uh, those that are sitting at the back area for your credit cards if you would like to give that way. All right. And so um, I don't have no ushers yet. Mm -hmm. So we just going to do it the way you know how to do it. If you're going to give electronically, you can step towards my right, your left. Um, if you're going to give by way of cash or anything of that nature, definitely uh, put it towards this. If you're writing checks, you can put it out to Anthony Turner. All right, those just just in case. I don't want to hold nobody back. Somebody might like it. You write checks. But write it out to Anthony Turner. It's going to the right place. I was trying to get the bank account that I needed ready before today, but it's not going to be ready until Tuesday. And so that's just what it is. And I'd rather be truthful than y'all to think that I'm trying to do something for me. All right, I have a real job. Praise the Lord. Three. Amen. Praise the Lord. Entrepreneur. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. But I really just can't wait to see what God is getting ready to do through this building. All right. And I just, all I want y'all to do is to help sow into it. And you're going to see the fruits of the labor. Some of you all sold into the carpet. All the carpet is here. Some of you sold into my stage. It's here. You sold it to all of this, and I showed everybody, so it's here. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. And the Bible says, despise not the day of small beginnings. So welcome to building one. Hi. Welcome to building one of the Pentecostal Tabernacle. All right, those that are willing to give, if you all can stand at this time. If you give it electronically, you can stay seated and enjoy yourself. All right. The musicians are going to give us some offering music, whatever they want to choose. We will plan a whole service and get to offer and not know what to say or play. Oh, give thanks. No, turn it off. <laughs> We're blessing the city. Turn it off. All right. All right. But those that are going to give, if you can, the time is yours. The floor is open. That's good. He keeps on blessing me. Over and over. 
gonna move forward. Everybody let me walk, say over and over. Say, I'm ready for a word. Come on, say, I'm ready for a word. I don't believe you. I think you're lying. Come on, tell somebody, I'm ready for a word. All right, bless the Lord. Let's receive the choir at this time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. is I got to be a smart leader. <laughs> got to be a smart leader. Well, if y'all can, can y'all indulge me real quick and stand to your feet and really just open your mouths and just fill this room with your worship. Wishing they were in our shoes right now. 
So never go along the rest of this year or even in the years to come taking life for granted because you can be, we used to say here today, gone tomorrow. But now we're saying here today, gone today. But since he woke us up this morning, tell somebody to say the least we can do is give God his praise. Help me on my way. Help me on my way. Didn't have to do it. so good that we deserve to be here. Look at what you say. I'm so glad he did say
vessel just saying thank you. I can remember when I didn't know how I would make it from day to day. We hear people say that all the time, but you have been right there by my side. And I don't want to just make this about me, God, but you've been right there by our side. If we really could take this mic around, everybody got some situation that we thought we would never get out of. But we thank God for Jesus, the keeper of our mind, keeper of our heart, keeper of our soul. So God, have your divine way. Use me as you please. I know it's no goodness on my own that I'm here. But I thank you for your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. That's been in my path since birth. And that shall continue. Hallelujah to your name. Stand tall in me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Two small words that mean so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Use me as you please, and I promise when you finish saying whatever you gave me, I'm going to sit down. Hallelujah. You get the glory, the honor, and the praise. And I promise you, I praise you like it's my last. In Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Well, saints, whoa. I don't know if you ever had a place that you've been in your life when things that, you know, you hear negatively that was spoken over you and it starts just kind of trying to play in your mind over again. And then you have this look at me now in your spirit. So these tears are not tears of sorrow. These tears are, it could have been another way for real. Just tell somebody, say, I am where I am today because I gave God a yes. And nobody should be jealous about anything that you got going on in your life. And tell somebody, say, in case they are. Tell somebody, say, take it up with God because my yes, Lord, did this to me. Tell somebody else, say, my yes, Lord, did this to me. When I told God yes, that's when blessings fell. When I told God yes, that's when my life turned the wrong way around. Tell somebody, say, all it takes is one yes. Woo! Hallelujah. All right. Woo! Hallelujah. So I'm grateful tonight. I'm not going to take a long time, but can, I, can you just clap your hands for your neighbor? The person that's beside you, thank you so much. To all of the pastors that are in the building, I just want to thank you for stopping by all of the leaders of the churches, wherever you serve. I just want to thank you for being here. I just want to thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Because it's literally him that got us in the building anyway. Hallelujah. And if you, anybody just grateful to be saved? Tell somebody, say, I thank God I'm saved. Tell somebody, say, I thank God I'm sanctified. And if you're like me, you thank God for the real Holy Ghost. Woo! There's some spirits out here, but I thank God for the real Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a keeper if you want to be kept. Hallelujah. Well, uh, let's just get into the word. I'm already, my nerves is already everywhere. Hallelujah. And so, and you know, God is really funny. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person that goes through this. You can consecrate all week long, try to spend time with them, and God wait until the day of 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning and give you exactly what you was asking for weeks ago, days ago, and everything. He ain't worried about you being tired. He, went, he talks when he wants to talk. But I'm grateful that I can hear him. Woo! I don't know about what these other gods do, but I thank God I can feel them in my hands. Oh, I can feel them in my feet, and he's still speaking. Still, he speaks from eternity. All right, the Bible declares in the Psalm 34, verses 1 through 3, a real familiar passage of Scripture. Nothing deep tonight, but God will give you fresh revelation if you allow him to. And the, uh, the, the Bible says... I will bless the Lord at all times. 
whose praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. The Message Bible says it like this. I bless God every chance I get. My lungs expand with his praise. I live and breathe God. If things aren't going well, hear this and be happy. Join me in spreading the news. Together, let's get the word out. Well, the subject that I have for tonight, look at somebody and say, do me a favor. Tell me more. Tell somebody else, say, do me a favor. Tell me more. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Oh, speak through me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. People of God, there are times in our lives when we are privileged and given opportunities to verbally express how we feel. Depending on the subject matter or circumstance, we can find ourselves conversing with much compassion, emotion, and even great enthusiasm. If you are like me, sometimes you'll find the tone of your voice starting in one place, but the more you begin to share your thoughts on a certain topic, that tone can raise up just a little higher than usual. Now, I won't say if that lifting of the voice is a good thing or a bad thing concerning, hallelujah, the topic at hand uh, and this possible level of intensity, but I guess that just depends on the conversation. Now, we can agree that sometimes we may not have all of the answers on certain topics of discussion, but when we get to talking about that one thing, we know can't nobody out talk us on. We'll be just like our friend evangelist Nene Leakes when she tagged the phrase, I said what I said. For those of you who have children and they are excelling in the academic efforts, when you talk about them to others or their instructors talk to you about how well they're doing, sometimes one compliment is just not enough. You somehow want them to keep on talking and tell you more. Those of you that are in relationships with your little boot thing, I ain't jealous, I'm just making conversation. But when they get to talking about you, about that fit you wearing, or how well you smell, praise the Lord, and how good you look, when they get in that mode of expression, you don't really want them to stop. You want them to tell you more. There may be some of you uh, that are first in your family to become graduates of college, business owners, and entrepreneurs, and so forth. And when people talk about you and your accomplishments, there's a certain feeling of assurance and gratitude that you have because you can say, I did that. And let me just say this. It is absolutely okay for you to celebrate yourself and the things that has taken place in your life which serve as moments of victory. Matter of fact, why don't you look at your neighbor for the first time tonight and tell them, I'm very proud of myself. And I'm proud of you too. Clap your hands if you're really proud of your neighbor. Oh, that was a little sorry, mighty God. Tell somebody to clap a little bit better. You can do better than that. Praise the Lord. <laughs> With that being said, we can agree that in all that we have done and are currently doing, how many of us know that things are not as always easy as it seems? Sometimes in our pursuits and efforts, we hit moments that cause us to face challenges that knock us off our feet, causing us to look up and wonder, God, what in the world is going on? But today, with David's help, I believe he'll help us change our perspective and put us back on track. Tell somebody to say, let's get on track. If I had to add a subtopic to this, I would uh, insert it right here and I would call it responding correctly in an all times moment. Tell somebody to say, responding correctly in an all times moment. And I'm not a long preacher, so you know, we almost done, praise the Lord. 
All right, in my study time with God and through some research, I found out that this psalm is a hymn of thanksgiving. It is sung on the occasion of the deliverance of his very life by God due to God's help to those who are in need. But as I'm learning in my seminary studies, you got to read the text, get in front of the text, and even get behind the text to fully understand its meaning. And in my reading of this text, a few words and phrases stood out to me. Hallelujah. Somebody shout out, I. I, I meaning me. Meaning I'm making a decision in this moment. Meaning I love the fact that we get to worship God together in a corporate fashion. But at some point, I'm going to have to master praising God for myself. Somebody say, I'll say I once again. Will. Somebody shout will. will. Will meaning in the future. Will meaning right now. Will meaning out of habitual behavior. Behavior. Will meaning I have free will to bless the Lord at any given time regardless of what it looks like. Can somebody shout will again? Will. The next word that stood out, somebody shout bless. bless. This one is really good to me. I feel it in my spirit already. It says, I found out that this meaning of bless in Hebrew means knee, which brings about a phrase to bend the knee or to kneel before our sovereign God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout bless one more time. And the last word that stood out to me was boast. Somebody shout boast. To boast from a biblical standpoint is to give God glory, praise and honor to God for the good things he has done. All right. So can we, you know, I used to be a formal school teacher, so can we recap class? <laughs> I will bless boast I will bless and boast I will bless and boast hey I will bless and boast you say I will bless. Oh, okay that's two young people all right I'm holding this preacher praise the Lord we don't do all that in the sanctified church hallelujah well let's go back to it all right <laughs> I somebody shout I I is the participating factor. Factor, I'm sorry. Somebody shout will. will. The deciding factor. Okay. Okay. Bless okay. my responsibility. Okay. Okay. Boast my honor. All right. All right. So tell somebody to say, I, I am the participating factor. The participating will yeah. is the deciding factor. The deciding. Bless, Bless is my responsibility. But boast, it's my honor. I get the opportunity to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. And when I boast out of my humility towards him, and when I testify to you, we both ought to be glad about it. Hallelujah. Be careful of people's responses when God does something for you, and they act like they can't celebrate with you. But when something happens to them, they want all the bells and whistles. And for those of you who feel like you don't have much to bless God for, let me ask you, when is the last time you took the time to kneel down before the Lord, our sovereign God? Can I tell you that if you learn how to get down on your knees and humble yourself before the sovereign God, by the time you get back on your feet, tell somebody, say, you'll have something to boast about. Hallelujah. Just tell somebody, say, I believe I just discovered how to survive an all times moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I tell you that there are benefits to the pressures of all times moments? Somebody shout out, do me a favor. Tell me more. Praising God in spite of what you see and what you're experiencing shows God that he can trust you in the midst of the fire. Come here, three Hebrew boys. 
If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us. Somebody shout out, tell me more. I wish I had a sanctified reader that can pull their phone out and grab the mic if they could, because I really want to, I've always wanted to do this. Praise the Lord. Uh, is there a real, there's the mic right there. Is there, I mean, like read like you from the, the, the church that ain't had no AC. Huh? Mighty, uh-oh. Shut up, demon. <laughs> you spirit. Turn that thing down. Huh? Frequencies, that's all it is. Well, what's going on? Test and test. All right. Let's fix it. Who know how to read now? I'm talking about some show enough read. Go to Amos. All right, we got to fix that now. That's the term of mighty Christ. All right. Go to Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. I like the way it's said in the message Bible. You know, I'm from the country. You know, so I like the ghetto version. Praise, praise the Lord. The, the Pharaoh version. Who's going to read real quick? All right. You see it, Amos chapter 9, verses 13 through 15. Yes, indeed. Yes, it, indeed. Uh-huh. It won't be long now. It won't be long now. Say it again. Yes, indeed. Somebody shout, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. It won't be long now. Read. God's decree. Read. Things are going to happen so Things fast. Things are going to happen so fast. Continue. Your head will swim. Your head uh-huh. will swim. Continue. One thing fast on the heels of the other. Uh huh. You won't be able to keep up. Uh huh. Everything will be happening at once. Continue. And everywhere you look. Say it again. And everywhere you look. Say it one more time. And everywhere you look. What's going to happen? Blessings. Somebody shout blessings. blessings. Tell somebody, say, if you bless him from a place of humility, he'll raise you up. Stay on your knees and he'll keep you on your feet. Tell somebody else, say, if you stay on your knees, he'll keep you on your feet. Now, I got one more thing to say. Somebody shout, tell me more. If you so happen to feel like you just can't find the strength to praise God in all your time or in all your or in your all times moment, somebody shout your all times moment. Let me help you. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. Tell somebody, tell me more. They hung him high, they stretched him wide. They hung his head, and for me he died. Tell somebody, say, tell me more. That's not how the story ends. Tell somebody, say, but in three days, he rose again. And if that's nothing to get happy about, tell somebody, say, I ain't got nothing else to tell you. Hallelujah, but if you just look over everybody in this building, somebody in here found themselves in a position where they had to get on their knees. Oh, but I bet you they standing up now. Tell somebody, say, I stayed down there long enough for God to raise me up. Hallelujah. So tell somebody, say, if you stay on your knees, down on my knees, when trouble rise, I talk to Jesus beyond the skies. He promised me he'll hear my plea if I just tell Jesus down on my knees. Tell somebody, say, if you pray to God, he'll lift you up. If you talk to God sometime, he'll raise you up. I don't care what it looks like from Monday to Sunday. You got to have it in your attitude to bless the Lord at all times. And keep a praise continually in your mouth. And after a while, your soul going to boast. Tell somebody, say, after a while, your soul going to boast. And you'll be able to tell a dying world if he did it before and if he did it for me, he can do the same thing for you. Tell somebody, say, you better learn how to boast about the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and tell the Lord I praise you every chance I get. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, say, I'm still standing because I learned how to bless the Lord. I didn't have a nervous breakdown because I learned how to bless the Lord. Tell somebody, say he brought me out because I learned how to bless him in a low place. Hallelujah. 
up. So just tell somebody to say, if you see me clapping my hand, I owe him the praise. If you see me doing my dance, tell somebody to say, I owe him the praise. If you see me running around looking unseemly, when you bring me out, I'll praise you. But until then, I gotta praise God. He's been good to me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just tell somebody, say, you better praise them while you got the chance. Somebody say, if you praise him, he'll make your head swim. Ow! Out of nowhere, 
say it's gonna happen. Whoa, stand to your feet when you're ready to go. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for the word, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Hallelujah. So look at somebody say, after a while, it's gonna make sense after a while. Why you had to deal with this? Why you had to deal with that? It's going to make sense after a while. Tell somebody to say, you might as well praise them because you're on your way out. Hallelujah. There's a dancer on the floor back there. Don't, don't do that. Can everybody just show the devil you should have killed me when you had the chance? But since the Lord allowed me to live, I owe him the praise. Can I just get this out? Y'all sleep. Every 
every need is met. Hallelujah. Everything you need, God's got it. Everything you need, he will provide. Hallelujah. Just tell somebody, say, neighbor, what you're looking at now is a product of an all-times moment. It was in that moment that gave me the smile on my face. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Just tell somebody beside us, saying at the end of it all, our testimony would be that it was nobody but God.
not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Tell your neighbor, say, this is about to be a great week for us. Prophesy to your neighbor, say, this is about to be a great week for us. Keep a praise in your mouth continuously and watch God work it out on your behalf. Can you clap your hands with your neighbor and say, thank God for worshiping with me today. I love you all in Jesus' name. All right, all the, all the, uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So real quick, when y'all come, if y'all come back next time, do not park on that fence towards that property. They're real fickle and real funny. All right. And I don't want to catch a case on the saints behalf. Amen. Praise God. And some of us ain't fully delivered yet. The Lord ain't never took my fighting away, so I'm not going to ask him either. Just in case I got to use it for his glory. Amen. For your glory. I will do it. All right. And next Sunday at 6 o'clock p.m., meet us in Petersburg at Calvary Revival. I'm in Calvary Outreach Temple. All right. You know, in his presence, conference choir, we'll be in our Thanksgiving concert. I would love to see you. I didn't get no selfie with nobody, so I would love to get a picture before y'all go, but go get your cars first. All right. Thank you, uh, Pastor Brandon Allen, for being here. Pastor Shamari Bullock for being here. Any other pastors in the building that I miss? Bishop Moore, God bless you. Be safe. If you see any trash, take it to the uh, trash can, please. So the band, thank y'all so much.